Hi there. This video will show you how to schedule a video conference or meeting through Skype for Business using Outlook 2010 or 2016. You'll need a webcam and speakers or a headset. So within Calendar, go up to New Skype Meeting. In Outlook 2010, it'll be New Online Meeting and you'll schedule an appointment like you would normally add to your calendar. So this is Outlook 2016. I've selected Skype meeting and I'll add some recipients in there. Okay, to my global address book if I'm not sure about spelling of someone's name. Add a subject, date, time and information. You'll see the meeting in your calendar now and there are some details about it. You can click join online meeting there and also if you go over to Skype for Business you can go to the calendar option and it will show in there as well. So you can double click straight from there or you can double click at your meeting in Outlook to bring it up and then simply click on the join Skype meeting link. Once you do that, a little window pops up. We're demonstrating a video conference, so we'll use video and audio for this. So far, I'm the only one in there. Now, I'll start my video, and it shows you a preview. So you'll click Start My Video to add it to the meeting. Hello, me. OK, so now Rebecca and Rob have joined. Richard using Steve's camera by the looks of it. So there's some buttons down here. You can toggle up to full screen up the top. We'll change the layout, speaker view or gallery view, full screen. Now under options on the bottom, I'm going to present a PowerPoint file. So I'll browse on my computer, find the file I want, and open it, and this will upload it into the meeting. So this is a good way to collaborate on documents as all the participants will be able to annotate this file. In the bottom right where it's got the video feeds, the picture that appears is the person that's talking. So that little pen in the top right allows you to annotate. And if you click on there, you'll get a number of tools, text tools, highlighters. Now, if someone for some reason can't use their audio or their video there is a chat window on the left hand side that little message button on the bottom left you can open that up and chat and if you're using multiple monitors that little pull out arrow by the videos lets you pop out the video feed. So you can drag that video feed onto another screen, make it full screen, and then you'll have your, your files that you're collaborating on on one screen and your video stream on the other screen. You can stop presenting and then hide the stage and get back to everyone's faces. And in the bottom right on the ellipses is where you can end the meeting. And that's it. If you have any trouble, contact IT support.